Subscribe to our channel, The Music Machine Gun, clicking on the red button and on the bell to activate all notifications so you don't miss any of our reclusive musical programs and investigations. Join us on a daily journey through the excitement and amazing history of the Rolling Stones. A musical journey that spans over 60 years and continues. On August 6, 2005, Carl O'Neill Little, better known by the stage name Carlo Little, a rock and roll drummer who played drums for the Rolling Stones in various gigs during the year 1962 when the Rolling Stones were in their embryonic stage. Carlo Little was on the London rock scene in the early 60s, playing with Cyril Davies' All-Star. Later recordings of him are often credited to immediate All-Stars due to his releases on immediate records. In 1999, the group performed as the Carlo Little All-Stars. Take it away, Carlo and the All-Stars! <laughs> woman told my mama before I was born you got a boy child coming now gonna be a son of a gun gonna make all you pretty women you're gonna jump and shout the whole world's gonna know now Everybody knows I'm here I'm a hoochie coochie man Everybody knows my name Cyril Davies Blues Band and consisted of former members of Screaming Lord Such Group, The Savages, including Nicky Hopkins on piano, Carlo Little on drums, and Ricky Fenson, as known as Rick Brown on bass. The band also featured Jimmy Page on guitar for a brief stint, though he soon left to concentrate on his burgeoning career as a session musician and was replaced by Bernie Watson, another former member of The Savages. Keith Richards, in his book Life, said about Carlo Little, Monday, January 14, 1963 of Flamingo Club. Surprise Rick and Carlo played. Without a doubt, the Rolling Stones were the most fantastic group to play in the country tonight. Rick and Carlo Little was a killer drummer. Great energy. From time to time they would sit with us, then Charlie wasn't with us yet. And that's why he decided to join the band, because he heard we hit this red hot rhythm section. Ricky and Carlo, is the game in one solo, they went turbo max, the room took off, we almost got blown off stage. They were so good. When Carlo got on that kick drum, this is what I'm talking about. This was rock and roll. That was the first time I lifted myself three feet off the ground and entered the stratosphere. For his part, Mick Jagger in the book According to the Rolling Stones says we used to have these on drummers, including Tony Chapman, Mick Eviri, and Carlo Little always tell this story about how he could have been a millionaire and all that crap. Carlo used to play these big fast eights, like in the early days of percussion. The kind of stuff that John Bonham used to play later with Led Zeppelin, All-American Drummers DJ. Fantano Van Eaton, the drummer and Jerry Lee Lewis's band, were much lighter musicians. When we played with Carlo Little, he would put all this stuff in the band. It was very exciting to play like that. But Charlie had no knowledge of that, so he just played with a more jazzy feel. And that's why the Rolling Stones were a more interesting band, because we had a much broader and deeper musical background. In 1998, Carlo Little was invited by the Rolling Stones during their European tour to share backstage at one of their concerts in Paris. It was some media interest in Carlo. People have asked me often um, when you knew the lights were they into drugs and all that sort of thing. Of course they weren't into drugs, they couldn't even afford a bottle of water. <laughs> Carlo 
Carlo hadn't been back to Paris for 30 years, so he and Iris combined a spot of sightseeing with Mission Impossible, finding some bucksy tickets for the Stones concert. Here somewhere, I'm sure. Sold out. Uh, we're looking for some Rolling Stones tickets. Sorry, but not The UK Raw tracked down Stones guitarist Ronnie Wood. We told him that Carlo was in town. And hey, presto, tickets for the show and even VIP backstage passes. So tell us what happened with the lads, Carlo. Turned down and saw me at the door and I went, Carlo! I said, it's been a little while, lad, isn't it? He said, oh, he said, oh, I'm so pleased you've come. I said, Keith, what are you doing later? Fancy a drink. Fancy a drink? You're coming back to the hotel. It's his birthday and there's a great big party. Okay, come on, let's have a sit down, let's have a chat. Want a drink? Let's have a get some drinks. The photos, arms around each other. And the more it went on, the more exciting it got. I really couldn't believe it was all happening. It was like a dream. It was rock and roll in the 60s, and we're all still rocking in the 90s. Yeah. We are waiting for you tomorrow on this same channel in a new chapter of Traveling in Time with the Rolling Stones. See you tomorrow.